caught up with the team that's really enjoying their time here at HoopFest. Let's send it over to Keith for that story. Keith? We told you earlier in the newscast how big Special Olympics has an imprint here at HoopFest and what the two organizations mean to each other. Special Olympics such a great organization, but sometimes we forget what it means to each individual family and each individual player. Well, we found out today just how big it is. Just have fun and be with your friends and make about baskets and just have a good time. It's kind of like a family reunion every time the local Special Olympians get together. And the site of this reunion, Hoop Fest. Well, you know, all of these uh, guys on her court, are, they're basically all family. We see them out skiing, we see them golfing, and they're on all of the Special Olympic teams. And it's good that they have this venue to come out. It gives them the opportunity to feel like they're part of the community and that they do fit in. The great thing about Special Special Olympics is it gives people like Heather Comer a chance to compete, make friends, and travel the world, even making the World Games in South Korea just a few years ago. Special Olympics has given her so much. It gives me confidence and team sport, leadership. Oh, it's meant so much. Uh, Heather has been skiing for, snow skiing for probably 15 to 20 years, and uh, it's just fun to follow them, and we just kind of live vicariously through her. Watching the games on these courts is refreshing. Team's having a great time, and the smiles will last all day. These guys here, I mean, if, if they goof up and knock somebody down, they, they feel as bad as the person getting knocked down, and they all get the smile on and get back to work. What a cool thing for everybody to feel involved in Hoop Fest down here. Special thanks to the Comer family for letting us into their story today. They've been special to my family for about 20 or 30 years, so thank you to them. And congratulations, Heather, on another Hoop Fest. Well, it's a fun event for everybody. We're still standing by for the championship games. We had a lot of high-flying action out here at Center Court. Let's send that back to Will Sherrick. Thank you, Keith. Uh, let you inside here at KXLY a little bit. Earlier today, Keith Oso was telling us the story of when he ruptured his Achilles. No surprise, he was not in the dunk contest.